with some talent that no one expected and uh, it turned out to be a uh, quality fight in the end. Um, without sort of rambling on about it, I would, uh, I'm going to open it up to you guys and uh, you know, see, would encourage you all to ask questions because uh, we've got two great fighters here and uh, they've got a, a hell of a fight for, for Belfast tonight. Before we get to the lads themselves, just you as the promoter. Yeah. Happy with the whole thing. Am I happy? Yeah. Yeah, very happy. Very, very happy. It was, uh, you know, this is the second show in Belfast. And, um, you know, it was, a, it, it, was a, it, it was something we wanted to do. We wanted to, to, to come here, promote. Also in the South, we want to go, to, you know, to the South. We'd love to do the O2 in Dublin. And the Irish belt was very important to us. And that's why it's... Um, you know, it, it's been a hell of a week. It's, it's been twists and turns, and, and I'm just pleased that that bill is, is in Tyson Fury's hands. Was that an improved performance from you, Tyson? Hmm? Was that an improved performance from you, in your opinion? Well, you are got eyes. What do you think? Well, yeah. What, what do you think? think? You've answered the question. Mm. I thought it was all right, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> right, yeah. Um, do, you, do you have any regrets about what happened tonight? Um... Where do you start? And there's a lot of regrets, a lot of, a lot of things that I think was totally unacceptable and hold up. I've nothing in any disrespect whatsoever what happened in the ring between myself and, and Tyson. Um, I respect them very much, so I was dead. Um, I think a lot of lessons need to be learned on the behaviour of some people from Belfast. They've actually turned a young Tyson Fury, a GB kid, coming over and enjoying his boxing. Instead of uh, somebody dabbling them in and out of a, an area, an area is, if you get people to hate him, he's not that person that should be hated. He's a nice kid. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's a young kid with ambition. And I think it's very, very wrong that people challenge their will, challenge, not, and I know this here, not only with what has happened with Tyson Fury and certain people that uh, paraded him all around the place, <coughs> didn't think anything about the young kid as a fighter. But it's not the first time that I've seen these people, I don't know who they've not said their names, but they've done it with uh, Harold Eastman when he came here to King's Hall. they also done it with every fight that has came here, uh, Sam Saxon included. And I think that Tyson Fury is a, a boxer who, you know, when I went to London to fight against Audley Harrison, I didn't have Audley Harrison's best mate parade people in and out of every barn, every area that he was from, and, and, and uh, I, I certainly wouldn't if I had been fighting Young Tyson Fury over at Manchester. I wouldn't, on it, I wouldn't dream of getting into any of the travellers <coughs> or anywhere else and taking up refuge in them for it because if they very simply would have told you to get the frig out. Simple as that. And said so that's the way it is. It would have been nice to be shown the sights of Manchester and everywhere else if that was the case. But what I think the way Young Tyson was handled was totally, totally wrong. It wasn't his fault whatsoever. But I think he should be admired as a fighter and not the way that things have peeled off that people started to well, dislike for it. Going on from that, Martin, would it be fair to say that maybe your head was, were you possibly distracted tonight? I, I was just distracted tonight, my friend. I was distracted from weeks and weeks ago um, in regards to, I, I know he has the battle of the show, but the, realistically, the Irish played, uh, we have a British, he was former British and Commonwealth champion, I was former Commonwealth champion myself. I would have, but for the British title. I don't think the British, Robert Smith or anybody else, would have accepted that on the eve of a fate, that the or even the eve of the eve of the fate, that they would switch the fate to, uh, sorry, they were placing Sam Saxon on the fate for it. So how did this look? And all of a sudden, all of the papers, Robert Smith has decided to change the British, the, the British title fate from a 12 round fate to a 10 round fate. And we're gonna have the Irish judges from Dublin is it a British title fight? No, it's not. The rules were banned. The rules have been forced on me. I didn't feel that I was fighting for a nice title. It's as simple as that. No disrespect to Tyson Fury. He is just a fighter. It's out of his hand. But I didn't feel that I was fighting for a nice title. It wasn't a nice title. It's an unofficial nice title. He has a door. As far as I'm concerned, if I had a one, I would have given it back. I wouldn't have accepted it anyway. I wouldn't have been an Irish champion. That's the way it stays with me. My thoughts and my thoughts are my own. The rules that are brought up are the rules. Ten round fight, referee is a judge. British table fight, twelve rounds, three judges. That's the rules. Can't change them when you're an adult.
Yes, okay, you want a 12 rounder? Okay, that's right, that's down. There's, more play out. there's a committee, there's a board. You're supposed to talk to people and make all these changes. You can't just change any sport in the world overnight. <coughs> it doesn't happen. I've had every single distraction that there was, even up until last night, told that if I didn't fight, if I didn't have an answer by half eight, that they were going to fly somebody else in. I didn't do anything wrong. I signed a contract for a 12 round fight. I went out the night and I fought that 12 round fight. My only problem was the day before was even getting off the weighing scales that I was confronted by someone with a piece of paper saying that on the dotted line. Same, I'd already signed the contract on the 25th of January. I was trying to get forced to sign another contract for the BEI to change it to the 12 round with three British, three <coughs> British judges. How is that an Irish statement? Come on. Yeah. Are you saying you don't view Tyson as a genuine Irish heavyweight champion? No, I don't. No, I don't. I, I, I respect Tyson as a fighter, I respect what he's done. He didn't make the change, he didn't force them on. You can't you can't you can't go over to the you can't go to the fight for World Head and say, by the way, that's what she has in ninety eight rounder. You can't do it and we're going you can't do it. Simple as that, you can't do it. Yeah, it's yeah, a total unofficial thing. He's thing. been changed from a ten to a twelve rounder, not a ten to an eight rounder. Totally different. Think, you have pulled so many to twelve nests, you don't have any positive. Tyson Fury is with me. Yeah? And promotionally, yeah. I'll do the right thing by him. Yeah, I've yeah. done the right thing by him. And if you can't have that, that is not this problem. has nothing to do with Tyson Fury. This has got to do with the rules were changed for a table. And it should never have happened. Well, that, that's, that's, that's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to the, the belt. It's a disgrace to the belt. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you and Tyson Fury. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. That came to an out and done a job. He always does. He's done a job. He's done a job for the Irish title. You've tried to keep him. It's not that. That is. I tried to defend him. 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 No, you're not talking about... Well, I, I could somebody please talk to you about the fucking rules? The rules are a fucking 10-rounder. You should come to the fight and fight. That's all. I don't think I'm going to fucking back the Belfast. Can I just say this? You're fucking... You've run around here and said the truth. There's a whole situation. You should ruin that kid too. You should ruin him. It was announced... What are you talking about? He's the champion. From Riverside. The kid, you've ruined the kid. As he ruined him. You've ruined him with people you've brought in. He's unbeaten. Breeze coming up. They're not as traitors or anything else. Not them guys. You fucking... You just have done so fucking dumb. I said, kid, that kid come over here. I like him a guy, and I've known him from his 70s. And he's still like and he's him. always a nice guy. No, him. but what just comes to talk about you, though? Know? What the heck? How the fuck would you? Because know? I can't. How could most you? Most know? people say the same thing to me. Where? Where's the most people? Where would you know? Where would you know? You've caused more trouble. You wouldn't know where. Caused more, you know where it caused more trouble. The fucking tell you what? See where you're no man. The fucking cause any trouble now. Yeah. What are you, an old man? Sure. You're a fucking mouthpiece. Oh, you're a mouthpiece, are you? You're a mouthpiece, are you? You're a mouthpiece, are you? At least I've got the fucking balls getting in the ring and fight. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. sit behind everybody's yeah, yeah. fucking neck causing trouble. Yeah. That's what you've done when you came to the belt. <coughs> sit behind who called? You sit behind everybody getting every beat. You make a snowball from everybody to throw them. Is that right? That's right, that's right. You're my man. I'm not for this piece of shit. You're better and twisted. Listen, listen, the simple fact is, I'm going to leave this because there's a nice kid there. I respect his affair. He thought I had one this game plan. He done a good job. He beat me for a score, and I love that kid. The simple fact is, go with young Tyson Fury. Take the separation door. Separate that. Come on door. There was rules broke within that belt. Not that kid's fault. There was rules broke. Where is the people, where, where is the people of Ireland going to turn around and say, excuse me? He can't change the fucking rules on a phone call. We need to sit down and have a... Yeah, should we do this, should we not? So what does it do now? Does it go back to the 10-round fight for next week? Or for the next fight, does it go back to the 10-round fight? Where's the rules? Come on. Martin. Yes, man. It was announced from ring, mm -hmm. from within the ring, it was an Irish title fight sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Does that presumably mean the BUI can now sanction British title fights? You tell me. I'm just trying to point out the past a, 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 What did Mel Christie say about all of this? What was his, what was his explanation? I think, I think he needs to be for that. Well, I think, I think seriously, we're all joking to say it. Boston is a very, very tough sport. It's hard enough when two men get in the ring and have it out, and there, you know, there's no hatred in, in boxing. Yeah. Two, you're, you're, you're good sports when you get in the fight. Why the board be put the, the belt on the line? Well, sure, I was only, I was certainly forced into saying a, a contract as soon as you got off the rest. Because that was what the trouble was all about the other day. And and and, and end of the bargain, the person that was making me. Trying to get me to sign a contract I never even got to look at, never got my solicitor to look at. Trying to get forced on me at a way in, saying that quick, saying that quick, I have to get. Didn't get a chance to look at it. 
The fact that they were even trying to do it on me, it's 